Get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. My love is in lead. It was three years ago that I sent Paul Watson who works for us from London, working on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And he's now a guest on Michael Savage, Coast to Coast AM, BBC. He's been offered his own TV shows. I told him, go ahead and take them. I sent him to Switzerland, and we had 3.5 million viewers over three days on the Ustream he did uh, covering Bilderberg. Three and a half million views on an iPhone 4. Not to mention the millions of listeners every day when he was on the radio. How is the dinosaur media going to tell you Bilderberg Group and global government doesn't exist and special interests don't exist when I can send somebody with a $250 phone and we can have, granted the data package was like $10,000 from Switzerland though to do all that video streaming, but... Still, three and a half million viewers for ten thousand dollars. Count the airfare and hotel. Maybe fifteen, twenty grand. I don't know. The point is, is that normally to have three and a half million viewers, you would have to spend, on average, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars. I've been in national TV production. I mean, I'm on two History Channel and Discovery Channel, two on History Channel, two on Discovery Channel. Right now, I haven't even watched myself on these shows. They just come do the interviews. People tell me they see them. 
book of secrets there's a bunch of others so i'm not i'm not here bragging hey i'm this big media guy it's just that i'm explaining mainstream media does not matter to me because i can have a real unfiltered conversation with you I can give you complex ideas and get your complex ideas back. That's what I'm looking for is long dialogue, long discussions, complex discussions. That's what's going to save us, not little sound bites of, you know, Alex Jones talking about the Masons or the New World Order on mainstream television where it's compartmentalized. I still do it because it brings people to Infowars.com. It brings them this radio show. And you're saying, why are you getting into media when we're talking about what happened out in Nevada? If you just joined us, two different standoffs with armed police under federal orders to shoot and kill people. And the last one ended at about 5 o'clock yesterday with me chewing my fingernails here in Austin, watching David Knight, our reporter, and the cameraman, Josh Owens, with a Fox News cameraman, march at the head of hundreds of cowboys on horses and over 1,000 people total, men, women, and children, with... Militia, normal citizens, uh, military, vets, and clearly active duty people. And David talked to some of them. They were, they were what I thought. I said, those people up there standing around Bundy and some of those guys, I mean, those are like real operators. I mean, you could just see them. And I said, wow. And I could see their faces and their body language. It was not infiltrators. It was real. They, I mean, we had real people there ready to, if the Fed shot people, they were going to have a war right there. They weren't looking for a war. Everybody had their guns down going, go ahead, kill us. I mean, that takes incredible courage, and the feds stood down with live video feeds going back to Langley, Virginia, and back to the White House, you can bet your bottom dollar. Stealing 600,000 acres. They already stole all the other acreage. That sounds like a lot, folks. You need 50 to 100 acres or more, depending on the desert, per cow, for them to get enough food. 600,000 acres in the desert is nothing. He had like 800 head of cattle. They stole about 400 of them. And so they said, we're leaving. Okay, you can, you can still range on the land if they destroyed his windmills and water tanks. He said, no, Sheriff, I don't care if the BLM put a press release out. They got one hour to release my cows. They'll come running back to the broken water tanks. I can go fix them before they all die. And they said, no. And a bunch of them had already died out in the heat. And so he said, that's it, folks. Saddle up. We're going in. We're going over. And they show up, and there are the feds in paramilitary outfits. We're going to show the video here in a moment pointing their guns at everybody, saying, we will shoot you, we will kill you if you cross the line. Well, the people did, and they backed down. And they kept their guns down. I'd say maybe half the people from what I saw were carrying guns. Men, women, you name it. Old, young, black, white. And by the time they got down there, there were the paramilitary police shaking with their guns pointed at them. These are people that were tasering women for no reason days before, attacking old men, beating people up that videotaped the snipers aiming at the Bundy uh, house. They wanted to intimidate everybody. Don't you get it? Americans aren't intimidated by all this, not real Americans. That's why all these vets and current military showed up who had loved their families. I mean, you think all those men, women, and children, you think all those old ranchers, you think all those military men that were out there, suited up, wanted to put have their guns at their side and march towards the police who were saying, we're going to kill you. We have the audio. It's coming up. On loudspeakers, we're going to shoot. And they said, you know what? We're not cowards like you. And the feds were hiding, shaking behind their vehicles. Shaking behind their vehicles. We have high-def video of it. Scared. This was almost at Tiananmen Square, but instead of the tanks running over the people... The tanks stood down. They had multiple giant black armored vehicles they had in Iraq. They've been bringing in to fight locals. Now confirmed it's for that. And, of course, the big reason, when this happened Friday, when we learned Friday that it was a Harry Reid Chinese government land grab and that the main solar farm, just like Solyndra, was going to be based in uh, his ranch where he has the service rights on record, registered with the state, as the governor admits. That's why he told the feds to stand down. They still didn't. He has th those rights, and they didn't want to pay him for them. They offered him paltry sums 10 years ago and again four years ago to sell out his rights. And he said, I can't live off that, plus I've been here forever. No. And so their answer was, just two weeks ago nearby, they shot a kid on a bicycle, a teenager, who didn't stop on his 10-speed BLM, shot him in the back. 
not the, the, I mean, imagine there's no one out there but BLM. They're not controlling the border, and they just come over and harass you. I've been harassed by the BLM. When I was at Big Bend last year, I told the story. Rude, mean, mean to uh, not just mean to me, being rude to people who ask them directions. These are childlike people, folks, that, you I mean, you got a gun and a uniform and you're not polite to women asking directions? You're bugging your eyes out and, 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 and puffing up your shoulders? That's the opposite of a guardian, the opposite of a warrior, an opposite of a peacekeeper, the opposite of a peace officer. Well, you just think because peace officers are honorable and friendly and are nice little kids, they're wimps? Take the fictitious character based on a lot of real sheriffs of Matt Dillon. Was Matt Dillon a wimp because he was nice? Would Matt Dillon run around stirring up fights with people for no reason? No, no. The truth is, ladies and gentlemen, the citizens would love police if they acted more like police of old. They were never perfect. Nobody's perfect. But this imperious, paramilitary, aggressive attitude, people are done, folks. They're done. And the most imperious group is the feds. Now, I said I'd play this clip, this segment. I'll do it next because this is just so historic. And, and the reason I got off into Paul Watson and the media is it doesn't matter if MSNBC and CNN didn't cover what really happened and said Bundy was just a thief basically out there squatting on land and not paying range fees. The facts are out. We have more people on a Ustream feed when Drudge links to it, DrudgeReport.com, than CNN has viewers at that time. Don't you people get it? Infowars.com usually gets a million visitors a day. The numbers just came in today. Guess how many visitors we had yesterday? Take a little wild guess. Five million unique IP addresses. Five million, one hundred and something thousand. Prison Planet usually gets 300,000, 400,000, over a million. My Facebooks, millions. Twitter, hundred. I mean, it just, you, you, we are the media, folks. People haven't figured that out yet. Infowars is big any day of the week. You add drudge. The powerhouse. See, see, Drudge doesn't cover what the mainstream media says cover. Sometimes he does. He covers what he thinks is important. You got feds tasering and beating up women for no reason and people that try to have free speech and hold up signs on the side of the highway in the middle of the desert. Well, Drudge starts linking to it because he doesn't like that. He likes freedom. He, is, he, he has empathy with people being abused because he knows deep down he can be abused too, just like I do. See, we're all in this together. And so thanks to World Net Daily, Drudge, others... This became the number one story in the world. Infowars.com stories were in the top 10 every day last week. Number one yesterday, number one today. Go to the aggregator. We have an article about it. Number one story in the world. In the world. In the world is a land rights fight. See, we're capturing the imagination. And we're showing the mainstream media is broken and dead. And we're showing people in high def marching against men with guns. This is incredible. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans 
Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Or by